Well, hello. This is um, the equipment that we're going to use for data and graphs. Okay, so let's go over what's here. First of all, we have a 2x4 high precision instrument. We'd like to place this 2x4 at the far end away from the computer and we'd like to place the 2x4 like this. We don't want it this way because there's a little bit too much friction in our system and this won't be enough uh, net force along the track. Um, and we don't want to put it this way because that's a little bit too tall and it's actually unstable. So we're going to place the 2x4 that way down here. But before you do that, you might want to employ another piece of equipment, a bubble level, to find out if the system is level. And by the way, we don't want this center uh, support to be touching the table. We're not going to use it at the incline, so we want to make sure that that's not part of the leveling. Um, there will be a little bowing in here, but that's just the nature of the um, You also have a cart, and the cart has pretty low friction. It's a nice, nice ride there for the cart. Uh, the, the wheels actually have suspension in them, so when you push on the wheels, they actually, um, yeah, kind of cool. Why do you think the maker did that? Well, see if you can figure that one out. Um, you should also have a vernier caliper. You're going to employ the vernier caliper on the 2x4 to measure this height. And uh, there's videos online for the vernier caliper. There's a short one, just two minutes long for those who've used them but kind of forget how to do the readings, and there's a longer video to talk more in depth about the vernier caliper. And you're going to have a stopwatch. And the stopwatch uh, clears. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at that. And then you also might have a um, protractor. This will help you with the data analysis. And then you should have a sticky note. Um, again, a very high precision piece of equipment <laughs> that you can put at the end of the track at the 10 centimeter mark. So now let's talk about the actual um, data collection and what that looks like. After you've leveled the track, you're going to put the block under the far end. And down at this end, you're going to apply this sticky note at about 10 centimeters. As close as you can get it to 10 centimeters as possible then we'd like you to divide up your group um, into different responsibilities. So one of you will be in charge of the cart, releasing the cart. And the way we'd recommend doing that is using a, a pen or a protractor or some object that you can very carefully measure the start position. And then three, two, one, go. So you let go. If you use your hands for this, one, it's a little bit harder because of parallax to know where you are on this, on this measurement. We'll look at this in a minute. Um, and two, your hand has oils on it. And believe it or not, when you let go of this cart, you could be either pushing it or pulling it up the hill or causing it to delay a little bit. Um, and so it's better to have something without oils to just release. Okay, and that's more consistent. Somebody else's job is going to be to hold the stopwatch. And I'd also recommend that that person is down here with their hand at the 10 centimeter point, because that's the final position. And they can stop the stopwatch as soon as their hand is hit. Okay? Uh, it's not that heavy, it's just about 500, uh, kilograms, about 500 uh, kilograms in mass. The momentum, well, it, it's okay. It's not going to hurt too bad unless you bruise easily. You probably shouldn't do this job down here. And then somebody else can be writing down the data, okay? Because we want you to clip through this data. Just you're going to release it here three times, okay? And then you're going to move it up 10 centimeters and release three times. We'll actually have you start down here at the 20 centimeter mark, okay? 20 centimeter mark. I didn't say displacement, so be careful with that. Notice in your data table that at the top there's a place for final position, okay, and that's going to be 10 centimeters recorded in meters. Can you do that conversion? And then your first start position is going to be 20 centimeters, but what is that displacement? 20 minus 10, that's only a 10 centimeter displacement. The displacement appears in the, in the far right hand side of your data column, okay. Um, start position is in the far left hand side next to the trial number. And that start position is wherever you've placed your protractor or your, your release gate. Okay? So we're going to drop it from 20 centimeters 
three times. Okay, and then we're going to drop it at 30 centimeters three times. So we're trying to see how consistent the timing measurement is. And then we're going to drop it from 40, 50, all the way up until you've completed the data table three times at each position. In the next video, we'll look at a very important concept. And while you're taking data, you need to consider the uncertainty in every single measurement type.